Welcome back to week three to Tom's Kitchen Fitness and Health Corner. Now today we are going to be again increasing the exercises by one and we will start off, uh, you can alternate the, 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 the movements whatever way you want, we'll do legs up first. Remember I said tuck your hands under your bum to give you a little bit of support. One, two, three, like as I said Always do whatever you did last week. If you don't do more, that's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. So if it's only seven you've done, that's fine. But don't don't go below the five, that's all I ask. And again, the uh, this exercise leg over. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now from it, one, two. Now I'm not trying to get you uh, fit for the Olympics for this time around, but next year you certainly have to be ready for the Olympics. Five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do our lift ups. I call them lift ups. One, two, three. Now, if you want to listen to music doing this, by all means do so. It's, uh, I'm just doing it in my lounge room and uh, you can prepare yourself whatever way you want to. Seven, eight. And as you, uh, if you notice me, I wasn't going right up because that's quite stressful. So you've got to take it slowly till you get to that, uh, till you get fit enough to be able to do it. Uh, your body will tell you what to do. If it tells you not to do it, don't do it. But don't let it control you either. I mean, straight, push it a little bit, but not too much, because it's very easy. Again, as I said we before, we're on the wrong side of the, the 50 mark. So when you get on the wrong side, you've got to be very, very careful. So now we're just going to continue on doing our press-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want to stop on five on your press-ups, by all means do so. Do not uh, push yourself to, to damage yourself. If you feel that you're not ready for going to eight, that's fine. Just stop at five. Because the, the, uh, the press-ups is, is, is quite a hard one. Especially if you've got a, a sizable body and maybe small arms, you could, you could hurt yourself. So be very careful on the press-ups. So that's it for another week and uh, I hope you've enjoyed your exercise, I know I enjoy mine. In the last couple of weeks you've seen us cooking carrots and potatoes but today we're going to do a little bit different, we're cooking flat mushrooms and they come up absolutely gorgeous. And what we want to do is get very very simple to cook these, just put a little bit of the olive oil Again, not too much, sprinkling of it. That's enough. And just put them straight in. What I do is um, I put a little bit of uh, salt on them and a little bit of pepper. And just twist them around a little bit in the oil. A little bit sprinkling of oil on the very top, very little. Now this has got to be a very small amount of oil. This will give them the oil will cook them nicely on the top, and um, 
they will not dry out so I'll put them straight in again using my little gadget Now, you noticed I didn't put tin foil on these, and the reason why I didn't put tin foil on is these are going to be probably a three, four minute cook, and uh, they'd, uh, you don't want to overcook them. So it's just going to be a quick cook. They, they come up absolutely beautiful. And the secret to it is that little bit of sprinkling of oil uh, on the very top, so they'll be beautiful. I'll give them four minutes. Now, I'm just looking in at the dish, and I would say those mushrooms are just cooked to perfection. Let's take them off. Oh yes, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You can't get any better than that. So I'll just pop them on the plate. You can see there a little bit of the olive oil on the top and that has cooked the whole top of the mushroom so that the whole mushroom now is cooked evenly. See the way it slices right through it and it's just perfect. Just absolutely lovely. Yum yum. Now if you wanted to put a little uh, sprinkling of lemon on, you can do so. I love lemon, it's just one of my favorite. It might be for everybody, for me, I just love it. And again, another little bit of uh, pepper, salt. And what I'm showing you here is the simplicity of what we're doing. It's so simple, it's, and it's so nice. I mean that, you could eat, you could eat away at these mushrooms. Mm. Beautiful. Now these mushrooms only took about five minutes, so they're we're cooking on pretty high heat. It's about 500 degrees. So this is the result you get is because of this high heat, and it's locking in all the goodness. Like the taste of those, these mushrooms is just absolutely delicious. You, it's just you can't explain it to people. So I hope. Um, you enjoy cooking your mushrooms. <laughs> now you've seen us uh, cooking a, a few dishes, a very healthy way of cooking, as you can see, just a little bit of olive oil, cooking on a very, very high heat, like 500 degrees, locks in all the flavors, locks in, nothing's lost in this food. So this is the healthiest food on earth. You can't get a better way of cooking than this. Yes, we got a booty, yes, we got a booty.